This week we're continuing integer operations. Now this first video will not involve the textbook, so if you have like a, a journal or a piece of paper, please take notes on that. Uh, or you can find a, a place in your book where you can uh, take notes on this. Uh, first thing I'd like you to do is we're going to write an equation that matches this model. So go ahead and do that for me now. Write an equation that matches this picture. Okay, so what most of you should have written or probably did write is that positive 3 plus positive 3 is equal to positive 6. Okay, but some of you might have recognized that this is repeated addition. And in third grade, we learned that a repeated addition can be written in a more efficient way. So we recognize that there are two groups of three, and we learned that the multiplication symbol means equal groups of. And we may have forgotten that, but that is true. So two groups of three is equal to six. Now we're gonna stop and I wanna recognize some patterns here. We noticed that the positive three plus the positive 3 equal to positive 6. But when we look at the multiplication equation, a positive 2 groups, positive number of groups, times a positive amount in each group, did that equal a positive or a negative? Go ahead and tell me that right now. That did equal a positive, so that's something we need to make note of. So down here on the bottom half of the whiteboard, we're going to do a new equation, and here's what I'd like you to do. Um, please write an addition expression that matches this picture. And please note that now that the integers are negative because the color is red. Go ahead and do that for me now. So now we should have written the expression negative uh, 3 plus negative 3, and the equation would be negative 3 plus negative 3 equals negative 6. So we do have still have two groups of the same amount so please write for me what that multiplication expression would be now this is where some of us might get a little confused and it's okay if we make a mistake because we're just in the process of learning this is still a positive two groups we can actually see positive two groups times negative three <coughs> excuse me and that's going to be negative six. So if we look back at the pattern, uh, this is going to be a positive number of groups times a negative number. Did that equal positive or negative? Go ahead and answer that for me. It equaled negative. So positive times positive equals positive, but positive number of a negative amount equals a negative. So far we've modeled these two ideas. A positive two groups of three is equal to six and that two groups of negative three equals negative six. But what does this mean? Negative two groups of three and what is that going to equal? Now I want you to go ahead and make a guess for me and, and see if you can come up with the answer. It's okay if you get it wrong, but make a guess what you think that might be. All right, so here's the situation. This means number of groups. So what does minus two groups mean? It actually means to take away groups, but here's the thing. We don't have any groups to take away. So what have we done in the past to model Taking away something that's not there, what concept do we need to use in order to do this? Please go ahead and share with me what you think that is. You're exactly right, zero pairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two groups of three zero pairs. So I'm going to pause the video and go ahead and set that up. So this is what two groups of uh, three zero pairs looks like. And so now we're going to take away two groups of the positive. So the positives are the yellow. So this is one group of positive, and this is one group of positive, and I'm going to take them away. So that's kind of funny. Okay, so if I take away the two groups of positive, I take away this, and I take away this, what am I left with? So what is the product going to be? Go ahead and answer that for me. 
That's right. The positive actually is the answer is going to actually be negative six. So a negative times a positive has what answer? Positive or negative? That's right. It's going to be negative. Up here, a positive times a negative had a negative result. And a positive times a positive had a positive answer. So let's look. There's one more situation we need to, to test out. And so we're going to try that next. Okay, so in this last situation, we are going to be uh, multiplying negative two groups of negative three. And so I have set up the, the two groups of uh, uh, zero pairs. And before we do that, go, I want you to guess what you think the answer might be. Would that be a negative six or a positive six? Okay, so we're going to about to find out. So here's the deal. We're going to subtract. We're going to take away two groups of the negative three. So the red is negative, so we're circling this red group. We're oh, hello, stay there, stay there. We're circling this red group. Okay, so if I take away the negatives, and this is gone, and this is gone, what is my answer going to be? Go ahead and write that down. The answer is a positive six. So, so to sum up, uh, when the two factors have the same sign, like two times 3 is equal to 6. A positive 2 times a positive 3 equals a positive 6. If we have a negative 2 times a negative 3, we had a positive 6. So both of these answers were positive. So the same sign is going to equal a positive answer. And if we had two factors with different signs, so positive 2 times a negative 3, we get a negative 6. And if we have a negative two groups times a positive three, we get a negative six. So if the signs of the two factors are different, the product is always going to be negative. That's what we've noticed so far. So we're going to do some practice in the book and see what we can um, continue that pattern.